Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure an IC teaming in Windows Server 2022. In Windows Server 2022, you can combine multiple physical and virtual network interfaces into a single logical virtual adapter. known as an IC team the objective is to enhance performance reliability load balancing and redundancy among network cards an IC teaming is also known as link aggregation bandwidth aggregation and load balancing and failover an IC teaming is disabled by default in windows servers if you want to enable it You need to have at least two network cards. If you decide to enable an IC teaming in guest operating system using virtual network cards, some options will not be available. In this video, we will see which options are available in VM and how to configure an IC teaming in Windows Server 2022 using Server Manager. In our test lab, we are using a VM. running windows server 2022 with three nics we want to combine them into a single nic team open the server manager if it's not already open click on the local server click on nic teaming disabled link in the adapters and interfaces select the network adapters that you want to add to a nic team Let me select all three network adapters Ethernet, Ethernet 2 and Ethernet 3. After selecting the interfaces, right click on it and select add to a new team. In team name, type a name for the new NIC team. For example, NIC team 1. We have additional properties. Let's click on additional properties. We have to expand it since by default it is hidden. Which means It would be enough to just click okay after you selected the NICs and everything would be fine. Under additional properties, we can configure teaming mode, load balancing mode and standby adapter. There are three teaming modes available: switch independent, static teaming and LSCP. Both static teaming and LSCP are switch dependent. Switch independent mode does not require network cards that are members of an IC teaming to be connected to the same switch. They may be attached to different switches. Static teaming requires the same configuration on the host and switches to identify which links are from the NIC teaming mode. While LSCP dynamically identifies the links between the host and the switch. Since we are using virtual machine, we'll go with switch independent mode. In addition, we can configure the load balancing mode and choose one of the three available options: address hash, Hyper-V port, and dynamic. The address hash algorithm uses attributes of network traffic, port, IP address, and MAC address to determine where the traffic should go to. The Hyper-V port algorithm will tie a VM to a specific network card in the team. This works well if you have a lot of VMs since it's a very good chance they'll be distributed well between the adapters. The dynamic algorithm which Microsoft recommends uses specification from both words address hash and Hyper-V to load balance the data. You can combine different teaming modes with load balancing modes. You might want to use NIC teaming on VMs. This is supported, but the only teaming mode supported for VMs is switch independent and address hash. So we'll select teaming mode to switch independent and load balancing mode to address hash. Under the standby adapter, we can choose whether you want to have all network cards active or put one of them in standby mode. Standby mode means that if one NIC fails, The second will take over network traffic. In this example, we will select standby adapter to none. We want all adapters to be active in NIC team. If you want to configure or assign a VLAN number to the NIC team, 
click the link to the right of the primary team interface. To configure VLAN membership, select specific VLAN and specify the VLAN ID. In this example, we'll go with the default. Let me cancel it. So for our NIC team, we are going to use the default to VLAN. Once configured, click OK. Wait for a few seconds and a new NIC team will be created. The NIC team with three network adapters was successfully created. At the moment, we can see our NIC team has warning status. After a few seconds, NIC team status changed to OK. We can confirm that all three adapters in an active state. The NIC team with three network adapters was successfully created on this Windows Server 2022 VM. Let's close NIC teaming window. Refresh the Server Manager dashboard. Now we can see NIC teaming is enabled and we have one NIC team with the name NIC team 1. Click on RP version 4 address assigned by DHCP link. We want to assign a static IP address to this NIC team. You will see that three network interfaces are joined to NIC teaming. The NIC team shares a single IP address. Right click the NIC team 1 and select properties. Select TCP IP version 4 and click on properties. Let's assign a static IP address to the team interface. Choose the radio button, use the following IP address. I'm assigning the IP address 172.18.72.55 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0. The default gateway is 172.18.72.1. This is the IP address of my router. The DNS server's address is going to be 172.18.72.51. Click OK and click on Close. Right click the NIC Team 1 and select Status. Check the speed. It is 3 Gbps. Combine speed of all three network adapters. Click on Close. Let's go to our Domain Controller VM. Open Run menu, type CMD and hit Enter key. Type command ping 172.18.72.55-t and hit enter key. As we can see, we are receiving replies back from the member server. Let's go back to member server. Let's disable one of the network adapters for testing purpose. Right click on Ethernet adapter 3 and select disabled. Go back to DC. As you can see, we are still receiving ping responses from our member server. Not a single packet drop. Let's go back to our member server. Check the current speed of NIC team. Right click the NIC team 1 and select status. Check the speed. It is now 2 Gbps as currently we have only 2 active network adapters in the NIC team. Click on close. Let's enable the disabled network adapter. Right click on Ethernet 3 network adapter and select enable. That's all for this video on how to configure NRC teaming in Windows Server 2022 virtual machine. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.